Good to have you, uh, Ryan. Uh, first off, you know, why, why, what was wrong with Realogy and why is Anywhere a better brand name for your company? Well, thanks for having us here, David. We've been on a journey as Realogy. We've grown our market share, led with technology, paid down about a billion in debt. And as we look forward, we, got, we want to do a lot more for the consumer directly, uh, both as a company and through our great brands that you named. And so this was a good time to wrap up one chapter of the company and launch another and use the Anywhere brand to help meet consumers anywhere they are in their home buying and selling journey. All right. Well, what does that mean? Where are you going to meet me in my home buying or selling journey that's different from where you're meeting me now? Well, the transaction is so incredibly complex, even with all the talk about simplifying it over the last five to ten years. And between the scale that we've got, our title business, our mortgage business, along with our real estate businesses, we think we're in an advantage position to actually make it a much more push-button, simple transaction for consumers than the way it's done today. And we can do that across our six brands as the Anywhere company. And that's a lot of what we're going to be focused on for the next few years. Interesting. I want to talk to you more about the housing market as well. But I did notice that, you know, in your, uh, in your explanation as well for the rebranding, you're going to be a remote first company and so let a lot of your employees live and work anywhere they want why is that well look you know we have really benefited from remote work we are recruiting people in geographies we've never been able to recruit them before we're giving people the flexibility they are happier they're doing great in terms of performing for our customers our agents and our franchisees and we think that's where the world is going and so we are really leaning into as a company and are excited to have done that we mentioned rates at the top, obviously, but you're, you're, I think your general point is that the impact is moderated at the high end. Is that right? Yeah. You know, rates rising has sure slowed down the housing market, especially for the first time home buyer in the middle market. We are still seeing a lot more strength than you might expect in the luxury area, especially with the all cash deals and in the geographies that are the hottest, the Floridas, the Texas, Southern California. Uh, and so it's a, a weird environment to have rates rising, but to be supply constrained, which is what's happening in real estate right now. And that's how we're seeing it play out in some of the different segments and geographies.